How to cross flash ROMs between the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro and the Redmi K20 Pro or you can also call this video how to convert the Redmi K20 Pro to Mi 90 Pro or the Mi 90 Pro to Redmi K20 Pro. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can cross flash ROMs between the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro and the Redmi K20 Pro. The same video will also be applicable in case you want to convert your Mi 90 Pro to Redmi K20 Pro or the Redmi K20 Pro to Mi 90 Pro. One, I am not responsible for any bricked devices. You are doing this at your own risk. Secondly, make sure you have a backup of all your videos, images, pictures, anything important which you have on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Mi 90 Pro because we are going to need a format data. In which case you will lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your. Why are we doing this? Well, that is a personal choice but for me personally, I have a Mi 90 Pro and I want to run Mi UI 11 based on Android 10 which is why I learned how to do this. What are the things which we need? You need to have Twerp Recovery installed which means you need to have an unlocked bootloader. I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of this video. So we will first go into settings and about phone. As you can see right now I have the Mi 90 Pro running MIUI Global Stable version 10.3.2.0 based on Android 9.0 Pi. At the end of this video we would have converted this phone into a Redmi K20 Pro running MIUI 11.0.1.0 stable based on Android 10. What are the things which we need? All the things which you need are linked in the description of this video. You need two APKs. The first one is a text editor and the second one is the Z archiver application to unzip zip files. As for the zip files which we need, we need three zip files. First one is Magisk, then you need disable force encryption and the third one is a full recovery ROM zip file of MIUI 11.0. 0.1.0 based on Android 10 from the Redmi K20 Pro. Again, links to all of these can be found in the description of this video. Now, if you ask me, can we directly flash the full ROM zip file from the Redmi K20 Pro on the Mi 90 Pro from Twerp Recovery? The answer for that is no. We can test it out so we can turn our device off and then we will boot into Twerp Recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till we see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. So we are in Twerp Recovery and if I go into install and try to flash the full ROM zip file from the Redmi K20 Pro, it is going to give me an error message which is error number 7 and the message says that this package is for Rafael N devices. This is a Rafael. So what does that mean? That means our phone is the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro and the code name for that is Rafael. The Redmi K20 Pro from India has the code name as Rafael N. So we cannot directly flash the zip file from to a recovery. Back into Android we will go into file manager and install the two applications. So we will install the text editor application and we will also install the Z archiver application. The text editor has been installed successfully. Next we will install Z archiver and both the applications have been installed successfully. Next thing I recommend you do is you go into settings and then you can go into lock screen and password and remove your fingerprint, face data and screen lock. Once that is done, you can go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into sync and remove your Google account as well. Once you've removed all the accounts and security measures, reboot your device once just to make sure and to double check that all the accounts and security measures have been removed successfully. Why are we removing all these accounts and security measures? We're doing this because we are converting our device and I don't want you peeps to be locked out of your own device. Next thing we need to do is we'll go into Z archiver, click on OK, OK one more time, OK one more time. And now we need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the zip files. In case you downloaded the zip files on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. In my case, I transferred them from my computer so they are in the root directory. First thing we need to do is we need to extract this full ROM zip file from the Redmi K20 Pro. So tap on the file and then click on extract to archive name. Again, click on extract to archive name. 
once the file has been extracted successfully if you scroll up you will see a new folder with the same name so we will click on the folder and here are the contents of the zip file which we just extracted first thing you need to do is press and hold on this compatibility dot zip file and then select delete Z archiver will ask your confirmation click on yes once that is done you need to go into the meta inf folder then you will go into com then you will go into google then you will go into android and you will see two files one is update hyphen binary the second is updater hyphen script so you press and hold updater hyphen script and then you need to scroll down select rename and add the extension dot txt so what we are doing here is just renaming the file to updater hyphen script dot txt and then click on ok once this is done you need to tap on the file and then you need to click on open now here it will give you multiple options right i just choose to deselect remember my choice click on more and now you need to look for the application which we just installed which is this text editor application so just tap on editor and if the editor wants permission to your photo media and files click on allow and as you can see the file did not open so we need to repeat the same step again just tap on the file click on open uncheck this option click on more select editor and this time the file opened next thing we need to do is we need to edit this file so you need to click on the pencil icon on the top right and that will open the file in editing mode what we need to do is delete the top two lines so our file should look something like it should start from show underscore progress the two lines above that are the checks which determine or which prevent this file from being flashed onto any other device other than the redmi k20 pro so all we need to do is scroll to the left and then you tap here right after the semicolon and you just press and hold the delete button on your keyboard so we have deleted the top two lines and our file now starts from show underscore progress next thing we need to do is save these changes so you need to click on this save icon which is beside the three dot icon tap on it and the file will be saved then we can go back click on back one more time it will take us back to z archiver now we need to rename this file back to what it was originally so press and hold and then in the pop-up menu scroll down and look for rename this time we will remove the dot txt extension and the name of the file will just be updater hyphen script and then click on ok once this is done we will go back go back one more time and keep going back till we see all the contents so this is our folder where we had extracted the file now we need to click on the three dot menu on the top right and then select multi select once that is done you can multi select so we will select all the files so just tap on these two arrows and then say select all so that will select all the files and folders inside this folder next click on the check mark button on the bottom right and then click on the down arrow the next pop up window is to create an archive so for starters change the archive format from 7z to zip we need the zip format compression level leave it as it is which is fast encryption leave it as it is do not enter a password and we can also change the name of the file just to avoid any confusion so what i'm going to do is i will go towards the end of the file and add an hyphen munchie in the file name right so now the file name has been changed and whatever the original file name was towards the end we added hyphen munchie and dot zip and then you need to click on ok once the process is complete you will see that we have a new zip file in this folder with the name miui underscore rafael in global underscore the miui version and then hyphen munchie dot zip so this is the file which we need to use in twerp recovery so the next thing we're going to do is we need to boot into twerp recovery and the process for that is you turn off your phone and once you've turned your device off you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo so once we are in twerp recovery first thing we need to do is we will click on wipe advanced wipe and select Talvik cache system and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done we will click on the home button go into install and then you need to flash the new zip file which we had created in my case it is inside this folder tap on the folder select the file 
make sure it has your name towards the end so hyphen munchy dot zip and then swipe to confirm flash and there it is peeps you can see that the file is being flashed successfully without any error 7. Once the file has flashed successfully click on the home button click on install and the next file which we need to flash is the disable first encryption so I will click on upper level and then scroll all the way down and select the disable first encryption zip file and then swipe to confirm flash once that is done click on the home button click on install and the next file which you need to flash is the magisk zip file and when we swipe to confirm flash it should give us an error and there it is you can see it is giving us an error which is error one no need to worry we'll click on the home button click on reboot and then click on recovery once we are back into twerp recovery we will click on install and as you can see we got encrypted what does this mean this means that we will have to do a format data now and then we'll have to boot back into twerp recovery connect our phone to the computer transfer disable force encryption and magisk zip file one more time and then flash them so that is what we are going to do we will click on the home button click on wipe click on format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard once this is done we will click on the home button click on reboot and then click on recovery back into twerp recovery let me connect my phone to the computer and then transfer disable force encryption zip file and the magisk zip file all right peeps i have transferred the two zip files to my phone and we can go into install and the first file which you need to flash is the disable force encryption zip file select the file and then swipe to confirm flash once that is done home button install select the magisk zip file and then swipe to confirm flash it will give you an error home button reboot recovery back into twerp recovery click on install magisk zip file selected and then swipe to confirm flash and this time we will get no error so once magisk zip file has installed successfully we are done with the steps click on reboot system and you will also see that our boot animation has changed from xiaomi's mi logo to the redmi logo which means we have successfully converted our mi 90 pro to a redmi k20 pro so it is peeps mi ui 11 in the building life gets easier let me skip the setup real quick and now if we go into settings and then about phone you will see that our phone will show up as the redmi k20 pro running MIUI 11.0.1.0 stable based on Android 10. So there it is peeps, that is how you convert or you cross flash ROMs between the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro and the Redmi K20 Pro. Also, another thing I would like to add is that do not, and I repeat, do not lock your bootloader if you have converted your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. And that will do it for this video peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.